What's up guys, Exile Kiwis here and welcome back to another guaranteed team of the season video. Today we are going to be completing a guaranteed La Liga team of the season and as you can also see I have got 10 packs in store which of course are going to be the premium players pack for the La Liga. So uh, before we get into it, thank you for clicking on the video and choosing to be here to watch it and for the continued support on the channel. If you could of course leave a like, comment down below and subscribe if you haven't already then that would be very much appreciated. So as we go and look at the squad building challenges, you'd have seen there that I was also 100th in the world for squad battles. I have got two games left still, so I should get top 50 easily. But um, yeah, Team La Liga Santander team of the season. And the lowest rated player that you can get, I'm pretty sure, is the left back Hernandez, which is a 90. Um, this is the team that I used. You can see that I used team of the season Snodgrass. He's untradeable, only played 22 games. He's a strong card. But I've got Van Jinkle to come on as a sub centre mid anyway. So he's not really ever going to play any more games. And every other player that I've used is untradeable. I'll go through the players, but you'll see that every single one is untradeable. I'm pretty sure I'm going the wrong way. Yep, here. Oh, Diego Lopez is tradable, sorry, but he's an 83 goalkeeper. Asensio as well, but he's Spanish league. They're all first owner, um, with most of them untradeable. All the Prem ones untradeable from the Prem upgrade packs I've been doing. So, uh, yeah, 84 rated team is pretty high. I know some people are a bit disappointed about it, but personally, I don't mind. You are guaranteed a 90 rated team in a season. So, I'm happy chucking in an 84 rated team. I imagine that the 84s and 85s are going to shoot up massively in price. But, um, yeah, I'm happy with that. So, there is a few players that you can get that are just going to annoy you. Um, you've got, obviously, the French flag. People are going to think it's Griezmann. But you can get the Hernandez card. Uruguay as well. You can get Godin instead of Suarez. Portugal, you can get Guedes instead of Ronaldo. So there is a few pla few flags that you could think that you're going to pack somebody big. And you just get shafted and get taken a piss out of. I personally, if I see a, like a Portuguese flag, there's no doubt in my mind it's going to be Guedes. I won't even be expecting to get Ronaldo if I see the Portuguese flag. But um, yeah, team of the season been okay so far there's not been a lot to do to be honest i mean like that that weekly challenge of um having to play 10 online seasons games and score two goals with an mls player i mean who actually enjoys playing seasons i know i know i personally don't there's just no reward to it. i mean i'm still sat in um division three like, i can't even be bothered to play up to division one that's how boring i find it uh, we're just going to discard the deep duplicates. Can't be bothered to send them into my club. So we've got seven left. But yeah, I like the idea of the weekly objectives. But like they're trying to push other game modes. But no one wants to. Like online uh, seasons, no one wants to play. Who's that? Is that Enzondi? 83 rated player, not bad. Yeah, online seasons, no one wants to play. Online friendlies, no one really wants to play. Um, online single matches, also nobody wants to play at all. So, some of them are weird as well. Uh, I will send him to the club and place on a transfer list. I mean, like, MLS players, I understand. But like, you need to score 20 goals with MLS players. 20. There's, like, no MLS players out there that are enjoyable to play with. Maybe team of the season, Giovinco. But that's about it. That's two boards in a row without a team of the season. Every time you see a flare, there's always a chance. Is that MT? Is another 83. Happy to send him into the club. We'll just get used again in the um, Tuesday guarantee team of the season. So happy to use him there. Discard the remaining item. And as we get into the next pack. Um, these are the first La Liga premium players packs that I've opened. I did however open. Oh we get another board but they had no team of the season again. French again. CDM don't be in Zonzi. Oh, of course it is so we have to do a discard straight away pretty much. But um, yeah, I opened three of the 7.5k packs, which like you're not even guaranteed a rare player. And I did pack Team of the Season Roberto in my first pack. I've only opened three of the 7.5k ones and already ma managed to pack a Team of the Season for the um, Roberto. Oh, this is joking. How am I getting flares and no Team of the Seasons? At least the Spanish this time, so I'm not going to have to discard him. It's Lopez, used him in the... Team of the season at the start of the video, so happy to put him back into my club. We'll take that. DeMarcos as well. Nice 380 rated players in there. Discard the rest. I'm not getting too many um, duplicates as well at the minute, which is always nice. 
So yeah, if you guys let me know in the comments, I'm sure you will, what kind of um, player you pack. Whether it's from the guarantee team of the season or the upgrade packs. As I said, my mates packed a Roberto as well. So maybe the pack weight in these um, packs are a lot better than the Prem ones. That wouldn't surprise me. Some, A lot of people, I was actually shocked. A lot of pe people agreed with me, should I say, in my last video about um, the elite rewards. Some, I was arguing with a few people on Facebook that are saying that you're being ungrateful that every team of the season was in packs. But I just find I just find it stupid that they add every single league into the rewards from now on, but didn't do it for the Prem ones. Like, if that doesn't show you that they don't want to just be giving coins away, whether you play the game or not, that they just want uh, coins and money and that. Because, is that Paulinho? I thought you got upgraded to an 84. Obviously not. But yeah, the fact that they chuck every team of the season, like if you didn't know elite rewards from now on are that specific team of the season league. So like this week, if you finish elite, you will get, um, what am I saying? You will get a team of the season, two guaranteed La Liga team of the season players in the elite pack. Whereas last week it was EFL, Community, some rest of the wild players, I think, and then Prim. Whereas this one was, uh, whereas now on it's a specific league. But anyway, as I said, for me personally, there's only really four players that would be huge. And that's, of course, Messi, Ronaldo, Suarez and Ramos. I mean, obviously, a Griezmann would be massive, etc. I don't want Jordi Alba because I've got his left back 88 card as a red card. Who would actually, I would play above his team of the season because he's a red card. But other than that, Roberto as well, I said I've already got untradeable. But other than that, I'm happy to get anybody, to be honest. And anything 93 plus would be an amazing pull. But yeah, let me know what you guys get in the comment section down below as well. And hopefully I can pack somebody huge. I'm not expecting anybody big. Can we get a decent flag? We get French. Striker. Is it? Get in there. Come on. I said I wasn't expecting anybody big. I said I'd only take the four players. Obviously I was lying. I will happily take a Griezmann all day long. You, you can call me a liar all you want, but I will take a Griezmann. Because as you know, uh, if you watch my videos a lot, I loved his um, League SBC card. His freestyle weak foot let him down a lot. But the actual way the card played, agility-wise, shoeing-wise, was sensational. So this 96, there is no doubt in my mind that he will be sick. There was a delayed reaction because I was just expecting it to say left-back. And it's gone from sheer disappointment expecting to get the lowest rated left back to just pure happiness getting a 96 rated Griezmann. That card is phenomenal. Even 83 physical. I mean, his in-game stats are just going to be ridiculous. 95 pace. What is it? Yeah, 96 acceleration, 95 sprint speed. They've not even done him in with that and give him something silly like 90 acceleration. Even that's awesome. 99 finishing, 96 composure. 99 agility, 99 head and accuracy and jumping. I mean, this card is going to be sick. I don't know how I'm going to fit it into my team. I'll probably put him at Cam as I've now got CR7 and Prime on right up front. So I'll probably fit into Cam. But what a card to get. I mean, them in games just say literally everything about the card. If only he had a four star weak foot. As you can see, he has got four star skills, which is huge as well. But that three-star weak foot will let him down a little bit, which is probably the only reason that I'll play him at Cam instead of Striker. Because at Cam, the three-star weak foot doesn't matter anywhere near as much as Striker, in my opinion. But um, yeah, absolutely huge pull. Was expecting to get the Hernandez card, so to get the 96 Griezmann is ridiculously good. Uh, as I said before, drop me a comment down below of who you got. Um, I'm sure a lot of you will pack something good as well. Everyone in my comment section is always packing one of the best players that you can. And um, yeah, congratulations if you do. Thank you for being here and clicking on the video. If you could, of course, leave a like, comment down below and subscribe if you haven't already. That would be very much appreciated. But that's going to be the end of the video for me, guys. Thanks for watching.